Welcome to Tricky's Kitchen where delicious food is made easy. Today Tricky is preparing palak chicken which is a classic Indian curry with a nice blend of chicken, fresh spinach and spices. It is packed with flavors and nutrients and is sure to become your favorite curry. So let's get straight to the ingredients. Note all ingredients measured using cups and spoons are leveled and not heaped. The ingredients for the marination and now the ingredients for the curry. Preparation Add all the marination ingredients to the chicken pieces in a large mixing bowl which is the coriander seed powder, cumin seed powder, Kashmiri chili powder, garam masala powder, turmeric powder, ginger and garlic paste, salt and lemon juice. Mix well and set aside to marinate for one hour. Next, heat oil in the frying pan and shallow fry the marinated chicken pieces. The alternate option, which is the healthy option, would be to bake the chicken in the preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Cook on medium heat until brown on both sides and then set aside for later use. Method Heat oil in the wok. Make sure the oil is not too hot else the ingredients will burn. Then add in the cumin seeds, cinnamon stick, dry red chilies and bay leaves. Add in the onions and fry. Then add in the salt and continue to fry. Add in the ginger and garlic paste and fry until the onions turn light brown. Drop in the Kashmiri chilli powder, turmeric powder, <coughs> coriander seed powder and cumin seed powder. And fry. Add in the tomatoes and fry. Cover and cook on low heat until the tomatoes become soft. Then open, add in the dried fenugreek leaves and fry. Add half cup of water, which is hot, then cook until the oil separates. Add in the fried chickens and mix. Add in the chopped spinach leaves and mix. Then cover and cook on medium heat for a couple of minutes. Open, add in the aromatic salt, garam masala powder, green chilies and a pinch of nutmeg. Mix. Add hot water if required to adjust the consistency of the dish to your liking. Taste and add salt if required. Bring to boil 
and then cover and simmer for 3 to 4 minutes. Finally, garnish with chopped green coriander and serve with rice, dal and naan bread or with any other accompaniment of your choice. That's it. Thank you for stopping by. Do hope you give this recipe a try. Have lots of fun in the process as you toy and most of all, don't forget to enjoy. If you liked this simple and easy recipe, be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe if you haven't yet to Tricky's Kitchen where delicious food is made easy.